Today we are talking about new electric vehicles that are coming to the market in the year 2022. We already know pretty much what Tesla is going to be offering and it's basically the exact same lineup that they have right now plus maybe a Cybertruck if we're very lucky. So let's go around and take a look at what some other companies are bringing to the party. We've got some legacy automakers working on some neat stuff, a few EV startups and some weird designs to look at. So let's go. All right, let's start off with something properly weird. The Jeep Wrangler Magneto. Yes, named after the X-Men character who is magnetic, not electric, but that's fine. This is a concept car that Jeep unveiled in March of 2021 as a kind of teaser for what they could do with an electric version of their most iconic vehicle. Strangely enough, this is basically the exact same car as the 2020 Wrangler Rubicon edition, just with an electric motor instead of the gasoline V6 engine. This one even maintains the six speed manual transmission from the Rubicon, which is kind of weird because we know that electric cars can get by just fine with only one gear. Porsche uses two speeds in their Taycan just to be fancy, but six gears with a manual shifter and a clutch is completely unnecessary, though admittedly kind of cool. Jeep went super low tech with this conversion. They just kind of stuffed all the batteries either under the hood or in the trunk area. They say there are 70 kilowatts worth of cells on board, but didn't mention what the range might be. And the electric motor is designed to be as close as possible to the performance of the traditional V6. It's a fairly low speed motor that has pretty much the same number of horsepower and torque as the regular 3.6 liter gasoline engine. Of course, this is just a concept car, so we expect that Jeep will do some refining as it moves closer to a production release of an electric Wrangler, which we will hopefully be seeing in 2022. Jeep are among the Stellantis group of automakers that include Chrysler, Dodge, and Ram, among others, and have been so far very reluctant to put much effort into any kind of electric vehicles. Let's talk about Cadillac's first electric car, the Lyric. This luxury SUV will be launched in 2022 and will be based on General Motors' new Altium platform for electric vehicles. It's a good looking car with a huge spacious interior that all looks very luxurious and modern with a 33 inch curved LED display screen that serves as both the infotainment system and the driver's gauge display. Being built on the modular Altium platform leaves the Lyric open for several combinations of motors and batteries. The base model of this SUV will come with a single motor and rear wheel drive, but dual motor all wheel drive will be an option as well. With a starting price of $59,995 for the luxury trim, Cadillac will also offer upgrades to premium luxury, sport, and platinum models. Altium can be fitted with batteries that range from 50 kilowatt hours up to an absolutely massive 200 kilowatt hour pack that will probably only ever be used in the Hummer and the full-sized Chevy pickup truck. Cadillac haven't released exactly what battery packs will be coming with the different Lyric models, but they have claimed over 300 miles of range for the vehicle. As you may know, we want to inspire others to learn more about science and engineering, which is why we're very excited to be working with Brilliant again. Brilliant is a problem solving based website and app with a hands on approach and over 60 interactive courses in math, science and computer science. Learning doesn't have to be a chore, and that's what we love about Brilliant. All of Brilliant's courses have storytelling, code writing, interactive challenges, and problems to solve to make it fun to progress to each new level of understanding and help you solve problems like an engineer. They'll help you go from knowing nothing about a topic to having a deep understanding all while having fun. And don't worry if you answer incorrectly, it will tell you exactly what went wrong and break down the information for you to correct and learn. We need more engineers and out of the box thinkers like our boy Elon Musk in the world. So go to brilliant.org slash the Tesla space and sign up for free. And also the first 200 people that go to that link will get 20% off the annual premium subscription. Again, that's brilliant.org slash the Tesla space. It's completely free to try and directly supports our channel. And now let's get back to the video. 
The Rivian R1S is coming in 2022, assuming that Rivian can get it together and release the pickup truck version of the R1 this fall. Then the SUV configured R1S should be close behind as they are both built on the same EV platform. The Rivian SUV is going to be the closest competitor to the Tesla Model X. It's big and powerful and offers up to three rows of seating. The model of R1S that will be available at launch will come with over 300 miles of range and a quad motor system that allows for zero to 60 in three seconds. It's mostly comparable to the Model X Plaid, not quite as fast, but still arguably much faster than anyone would ever need an SUV to go. Where Rivian breaks away from Tesla is with their off-roading capabilities, or at least their off-road marketing. I've seen a Model X go mudding and it's pretty impressive, but Tesla have never pitched it as that kind of car. But Rivian are all about the adventure lifestyle. All of their marketing for the R1 has it driving through mountain ranges and deserts and across snow-covered terrain, so it just feels like a really fun car to own. And with four independent motors powering all wheels, I believe that it can drive pretty much anywhere. Starting price is going to be 75 grand for the launch edition, but Rivian are planning to eventually produce both a longer range version and an entry level model with just around 250 miles of range. Lucid is planning to bring the Air Sedan to production in 2022. They might still be able to deliver the dream edition of the car this fall, but that's limited to only a few hundred units until they're all sold out. The real Lucid Air will be the grand touring edition that will follow next year, and this should be a very compelling electric luxury sedan. It's really tempting to compare this to the Model S Plaid from Tesla, but they are really just two completely different takes on vehicle design. Tesla went hard in the direction of maximum performance and created the fastest car ever, while Lucid is headed in the direction of maximum comfort and luxury. The Air Grand Touring is still going to be more than fast enough with 800 horsepower coming from two electric motors, but the real head-turning spec is the 517 miles of EPA estimated range. If that holds true, then this will be the first electric car to break 500 miles of range. Given the amount of people who were genuinely upset that Tesla canceled the Plaid Plus Model S, there definitely is a market segment of people that feel they need 500 miles on a single charge and are willing to pay for it. All the performance specs aside, Lucid is really about the driving experience. They put a lot of focus on the fit and finish of the interior, the comfort of the ride, the control layout and the tactile feel of all the buttons and switches, and the insulation of the cabin from exterior noise. This is going to be an absolutely wonderful car to cruise around in. BMW got out early in the electric vehicle market in their i8 hybrid supercar back in 2014, then followed that a couple of years later with the all-electric i3, which is a compact egg-shaped hatchback that is widely regarded as a horrifically overpriced car. Car and Driver rated the 2021 i3 at just 5.5 out of 10 due to a range of just 153 miles and a price of 50 grand. My favorite car YouTuber Doug DeMuro released a video called Here's Why the BMW i3 Absolutely Isn't Worth $50,000 that has nearly 4 million views. So BMW have a lot of ground to make up here and they need something new to salvage their reputation. The all new iX might be just that. The cool thing about the iX is that it's an all new design for BMW. They're not just sticking EV stuff in an existing legacy vehicle. This is basically a mid-sized crossover SUV, which is a smart choice because that's now the best-selling class of vehicle in America by far, taking over 45% of vehicle sales in June 2021. And so far, it's looking pretty good. Not amazing, but pretty good. 300 miles of range, dual motor all-wheel drive for a 0-60 to 60 acceleration of 4.6 seconds, and it has a reasonably fast charging speed that can gain back 60 miles of range in as little as six minutes with a high-powered charging station. Then BMW throw in the option for adjustable air suspension and rear wheel steering, which is unusual to see on this class of vehicle, but pretty cool. It looks like rear wheel steering is going to become a much more common feature in the automotive world, 
I'm guessing the EV platform makes it easier to implement four wheel steering than a conventional vehicle. And that's why we're suddenly seeing GM, Tesla, and now BMW jump in on it as an advanced feature. This is also, I think, the first BMW design where that humongous nostril grill thing at the front doesn't look horrible, in my opinion, at least. So that's a nice plus. Okay, we started on something weird. Let's end on something weird. This is the Canoe pickup truck. It's weird, right? But it's actually a really compelling electric vehicle from a California-based startup company. This is a whole new take on the pickup truck. Every aspect of the design is super modern. There are pretty much zero mechanical connections involved. It's fully electric, steer by wire and brake by wire controls. The cab is small, but there is a ton of room freed up by removing all of the unnecessary parts. It's a completely modular interior that can be configured according to how you want to use your pickup. And the bed is crazy. It's a six foot truck bed that can be expanded out to eight feet with some clever engineering. The bed is also modular and customizable with integrated LED light bars, plus it opens from the sides with flip down tables, which is super clever. There is even an extendable storage container that pops out of the side of the bed and can also be used as a step to reach the integrated rooftop storage system. This is one of those cars that you might laugh at in the beginning because it looks so weird, but once you really appreciate the design, it starts to look really cool. You can choose either rear wheel drive or all wheel drive. There will be over 500 horsepower on tap with the dual motor all wheel drive option and a range of over 200 miles. It is fairly low range, but Canoe says the battery pack in the pickup is designed to be repaired, replaced and upgraded when need be. So the batteries powering the truck don't become outdated. You can pre-order this thing for a hundred bucks but I can't see anywhere that they say the full price yet. But let us know in the comments section below which one of these non-Tesla electric vehicles would you choose if you had the opportunity. For me, it's probably that canoe pickup. I just think it's really neat. And even if I do finally get my Cybertruck someday, I'd probably still wanna have the canoe around just for fun. If you wanna continue to learn about everything regarding Tesla, SpaceX, and Elon Musk, we've got two more video options for you on the screen to check out. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up today if you liked it and subscribe to our channel for weekly content just like this.